God, oh God. Boy, boy. Hey there, guys. This is Phone Tech Kid, and today I'm going to be going over the domination ROM for your AT&T and T-Mobile Galaxy S3. So as you can see, it's a red-themed ROM. You have your red 23 toggle mod up here. And you have your notification drawer. And if you notice, at the bottom I have navigation bar buttons. Uh, this does come with a ROM installer, so you'll have the choice to install them if you want. I wanted them because I really like them, and I think they're cool. And so, they work and everything. Um, this You do get the choice of which launcher you want. I chose the 5x5 five five launcher. Some of the apps you get is Advanced S to customize the widget buttons you want up in here. Um, up in the notification bar. You have the center clock right here. You have kind of a circle battery mod right there, which is really cool. Also, you get Awesome Beats right here. You could enable them and customize it so music should sound a lot better. Um, if we go back here, some of the other apps you get, that's pretty much it for apps. You do get the Note 2 Gallery. You'll have the choice between this or the 4.2 camera and gallery. Um, you get you can choose between which music player you want. I chose MIUI because I like that one the best. Um, what else do you get? If we go down into settings and to uh, um, domination mods and settings, you get mobile hotspot. It is the T-Mobile mobile hotspot. You get ink effect, 23 toggle mod. Also, if you are on AT&T, make sure to uncheck Wi-Fi calling. If you have a T-Mobile SIM card in there, you can though, so that's a good bonus. So, as I said before, this takes you to Advanced S to customize that. And then you have Ink Effect. You can choose which color you want. I'm going to choose red. So let's choose blue. If we lock it, and we're here on the lock screen, you can tell that the Ink Effect is blue. Kind of like on the Galaxy Note 2, which was one of its big... People seem to like it. Um, and otherwise, it's pretty stock ROM, um, really fast, especially if you want a customizable fast touch with ROM. You do get the choices of which kernel you want. I chose the Deviant kernel because I really like it. So, because of that kernel, if you download set CPU, you could overclock it. And it's a pretty high, I think it goes up to 1.1988 um, megahertz, something like that. But it's crazy speeds. I don't suggest putting it up that high. But it's, especially if you're a gamer, then it'll be pretty good for you. So now I'm going to show you how to install the ROM. Hey there guys, this is Phone Tech Kid, And today I'm going to be showing you one of the coolest ROMs. And so right now I'm going to be showing you how to flash it. Okay, so this ROM... It's called Domination Version 3, okay? So this was just ported. Um, the same developer made Wicked Version 6, which is another great ROM. He ported this from T-Mobile, and so was the other one. And my favorite thing is this has a really cool red theme on it. So right now, I'm going to be showing you how to flash it. First thing we're going to want to do is do a factory reset. Do this twice, just in case. It's always good to do it twice. We're next going to wipe cache. I'm using twerp. Same ste steps work for um, same steps work for clockwork mod recovery. So we're going to wipe cache again one more time, just in case. And then we're going to go back and wipe Delvet cache. And that should be it. So now we're going to go to install. It should say domination version 3 zip. And we're going to swipe to confirm flash. This does come with um, a Roman installer, so I'm going to show you that right now. As you can see, it is Deviant Development. It also does come with their new Deviant Development ROM. I mean, um, sorry, the kernel, which looks really, really nice. So you have choices of full installation, custom installation. I'm going to choose custom installation right now. And so what we're going to do here is there's a couple of choices. So let me 
if I can. Alright, I can't zoom in, but let me show you guys what to do. Okay, so first we have carrier choices right here. I'm going to select AT&T because I'm on AT&T. You could also uh, use T-Mobile. Then you have the choice of the stock kernel or deviant kernel. I suggest the deviant kernel since I find it really useful. Next right here we have the launchers you could choose. Stock launcher, Xperia S launcher, MIUI launcher, Tetris 5x5. I'm going to choose Tetris 5x5. We're going to click next. Then you have soft keys if you want on screen soft keys or not. I'm going to select on on screen soft keys just to see. Then we're going then we have stock camera right there, stock camera note 2 gallery. Next is four camera and gallery. I'm going to choose stock camera note 2 gallery. And then we have music apps. I'm going to choose MIUI. Next, we have ad blocking hack if you want that. Uh, set your min free memory values and external four tweaks. So select what you want there. Then you could go through here and choose what you want and what you don't want, kind of the bloat. And then it says press install now to install. So it should start installing now. And give it a couple, maybe a minute or so for it to install. Shouldn't take too long. This really is a great ROM, especially if you want something stock but with lots of customization. That's one of my favorite features. And this developer is always keeping people updated. He's always updating his ROM, which I find really nice. I'll have the link down below for the AT&T version and the T-Mobile version for you to install. And I'm pretty sure it's one link, so I'll just have one link because it should just be one ROM that will install it for you and then you'll choose your base so it's almost done as you can see it's at about 96 percent it's installing that bar and I'll show you the boot animation just because it's pretty cool it's kind of like a droid boot animation we're gonna click next if you click fi if you leave that checked and you click finish it's gonna say error I think oh no okay last time it told me error but the ROM was still flashed so I just had to do a couple of things okay so it's booting up now and the animation is really great so just watch so I don't know I find that animation really really sick so, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for more videos like this. And also check out my website, phonetechkid.com. Also hit the like button. Thanks. God, oh God. Boy, boy. I've been working all God.